Oh shit, I don't know. Irana? Hmm? Is my mic on? Oh, no, it's the other side, other side, other side, other side. <laughs> oh, well, you're not even, you're sitting on it. It's not even attached to you. What? Like it's on the, no, I mean it's on the sofa. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, we were rolling, he's putting we were on rolling the entire time. Um, what are we doing? Uh, what are we talking about today? It's Christmas. Christmas. We need to have like some Christmas music. Christmas time. Christmas. Like, you know, that, like, you know, yeah, that's the sound. Hi, welcome to Lace, a woman's sneaker sewed based out of the Middle East. I'm your co host, Jess. I'm Radna. And I'm Nadine. Before we start, should we do Secret Santa? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. We have to do our thing. Tell me which one's yours. Yo. That is mine. Okay, that's yours and then Nadine, that's... yours is just the thing on the top. Oh. Yeah, there's all this oh. stuff. I'll go first. Yeah. All right, RD. Yes. So we haven't known you for that long. <laughs> but there's one thing that we do know about you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh. And let's see that. You are Ta -da. a corny yeah. ass mofo. <laughs> <laughs> and I chose the cream, uh, uh, the cream style version. Because you're corny with swag. Cream style edition, exactly. Because yeah. you're smooth with your. I'm smooth with your corny comments. <laughs> it's true. I am smooth. Uh, and yellow's my favorite color. So I got this for you. These are mine. Yeah. Just open it up. Oh, I was gonna open it for you. <laughs> what is it? Girl, you you know what, what I need. It? it is nail glue. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> it's falling apart. Oh, All God. the time. We don't ever have to worry it's about like that basketball. anymore. I have to wear these temp nails. They fly or whatever. No. I don't know if a lot of people really know that, but yeah. my nails be flying all over the place. Thank you. I'll yeah. actually use this. Yeah. <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me. It's just what's on the top. Oh, it's just what's on the yeah. top? Yeah, the Merry rest Christmas. is just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> just a greeting. Uh, no, 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 open it, open it. It's ugly Christmas socks. But she loves her fucking <laughs> high socks, so I got her some ugly Christmas socks. I like it. Oh my god, I'm gonna wear it now. Do we maybe want to just go through what we've actually yes. got on oh, today? Oh, yes. In the spirit of Christmas. In the spirit of Christmas. Um, I'll, I'll actually go first. Um, so I've actually got the Puma Hundreds collaboration um, and they are called the Future Rider. I think it's just very appropriate in terms of this season. Um, I got the Christmas so socks that Jess gave me. Just, what did I just say? You said the Future Rider. Why are they appropriate during the season? You riding people this season? Oh, oh shit, no. <laughs> I actually meant in terms of like the colorway. Um, got, oh yes, yeah, so I've got the socks, the, um, the the socks that Jess gave me, um, some cargo pants from Urban Outfitters, and um, a very Christmassy knitted sweater from Urban Outfitters. Cute. I've got on some New Balance Classic 574s uh, in the steel gray. They're just super comfy, and when you're on your feet a lot during Christmas time, I don't know about you guys, but doing a lot of shopping, walking around Dubai Mall, that mm. kind of thing. Um, and then I've got some denim jeans just from Urban Outfitters, a Tommy Hilfiger sweater on top of, it's a turtleneck sweater because you know it's Christmas and mm. a girl's got to be a bit modest. But underneath I have a very cute 24 Pilates <laughs> crop top. So today I have on my Air Jordan 1 mid, deep royal blue black Jordan socks and my jeans are not from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> my jeans are from ga Garage and I have a Gap hoodie on which is very comfortable. Today what are we getting into? We're kind of going to discuss since it's the season. Mm -hmm. um, it's the season. To be jolly but also to buy people stuff and it sneakers. can be really hard. Yeah, it can be really hard to pick sneakers for people. Um, so we're going to look into some gifts that are practical. I don't know about you personally. How do you feel about other people buying you kicks? I mean, I don't know. I would like to think that my friends know me well enough to be able to know what kind of sneakers I'd like. Would you honestly say if somebody got you something that you didn't like or does it depend on the friend? Mm, I think it's very difficult for me to hide my facial expression. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. I sketchers. love my friends. <laughs> sketchers. Hey, I love listen, you. I don't have anything, I'm sorry. I'm not sketchers. anything against sketchers. Yeah, I think it can be really difficult to buy someone kicks if you, even if you know their taste, because they're ex they're not a cheap purchase. So you want to make sure you get it right. And even though yeah. people can exchange oh, stuff, I don't. Yeah. For me, like I don't mind if my friends exchange gifts that I get them because I'm mm. like, I want you to have something you want. Mm. But sometimes it's just like you want it to be exciting on Christmas Day when they open it and it's the thing and, they want. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll just go to the store later and exchange it. Yeah, exactly. um, I mean, I love my friends, but if my friends are watching this and they want to gift me something, the Dior Jordan ones. 
<laughs> so like I don't know whether the, y'all do this but I give people a list anyway of like I'm like here's my link to my wish list <laughs> and so Christmas ladies and ladies I have a very special Christmas themed sneaker mm -hmm. so the first one is Air Force One High it's called Ugly Sweater I actually it's love a good Christmas sweater <gasps> I love those they're so cute <laughs> they're actually not all that ugly that's an unlaced like that's an unlaced for me I'm yeah. I'm just not feeling it at all. Do you all. think it's too Christmas themed for you? Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know. feel like there's such a thing as too Christmas themed. I mean, themed. it's... I, yeah, I don't well, know. I just, I wouldn't. Yeah, it's a lace for me. Look, I have Mariah Carey blasting mm -hmm. uh, all throughout <laughs> November, not even December. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we've had some great Christmas decorations courtesy of Mac. Courtesy of Mac. Woo -hoo. Thanks, Mac. Thank you, Mac. Um, Love you, Mac. You know, look at my giant size stocking. Clearly, I'm a huge fan of Christmas, and I don't think that that's too over the top for me. It's, it's dope, so I'm gonna lace them. Next, we have continuing the Christmas theme. We have the Vance Simpson Christmas. Mm. I like them. I think they're. I think they look cool. Again, I mean, obviously, we're talking about Christmas. It's not something that I would be wearing all year round. I love a good band slide, and I like that these are the Christmas decoration on them was like really tiny. Yeah. Uh, but it's unleashed for me. I don't think I'd wear them. Again, it's an unleashed for me. Mm. It just. I don't know. It doesn't even look Christmas. It doesn't look. I think maybe Christmas. that's the reason why I would lace them. Right there. next, we have Puma Mr. Doodle Sky High LX. I like this Mr. Doodle range. We actually um, saw some of the product in Puma showrooms here and they've done mm -hmm. really well with the, this collab. Mm -hmm. I, would, I, would, I do like them and they... <laughs> you lace them? Yeah, I think uh, these are laced for me too. And I like that there's not too much doodle on it. There is, so only, yeah. Yeah, it's a sleek doodle. doodle. It's not over the top. So no, yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's a lace for me as well. I mean, I like whatever Mr. Doodle does. Yeah, like his exactly. videos and all, yeah. too good. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, yeah. Cool collab. So, Very clever collab. Yeah. That is it for list and unlist. So, what would you recommend? Right. So we're saying sneakers is really hard to buy for people. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, so if you're looking for something some more wallet friendly solutions, mm. you know, you got somebody that like love is about the lifestyle, but you don't want to, you know, you don't have that kind of budget to buy a whole new pair of cakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what can we get? What are your recommendations? Um, I would probably um, gift someone a nice coffee table book, something about, about sneakers. So we have actually a few that are quite well known out in the market already. Be the Ultimate Sneaker Book, that's by Simon Wood. Um, he is actually a self-acclaimed sneakerhead himself and, and uh, the editor of Sneaker Freaker. Um, other books that you might want to be looking at would be the Dunk Book. Um, which is obviously a Nike book, and that's actually by Sandy Bodecker, if I'm not saying, if I'm saying that right. And he um, unfortunately passed away last year from yeah. throat cancer. Um, he used to actually be the VP of special projects at, at Nike. There's another book as well that's about Nike that um, oh, yeah, she might be something. Oh yeah, Shoot Off by Night. That's right. The story and how Nike came into being, really interesting read. Mm. And from his perspective, it's a autobiography-ish mm. kind of piece. Shoe um, dog. Shoe dog. There we go. Oh, we got the shoe dog right here. Where's your can of corn? Is it somewhere yeah, close by? Yeah, it's, it's okay. just there. Okay. We can also talk about the rise of culture, uh, sneaker culture. That's actually by, well, it's co-written um, by Bobito Garcia. Shout out to Bobito. Um, and, uh, and, and also Elizabeth Semelhack. Yeah, we love Bobito. He's got mad sneaker knowledge. I don't know if you've ever crossed paths with him. I've sold mm. if you've been in Dubai. But. And then, yeah, and another book that I'd like to mention are, um, is the uh, Sneaker Wars. That's actually um, about the war between Adidas and Puma. I don't know if you guys know, but the, they're brothers. Um, so that's actually so pretty cool. Just one brother found Adidas and one brother exactly. found Puma. Exactly. Yeah, correct. right. And, so it's just family, yeah. So basically, the history behind you know how the two brands came about. Mm. So yeah, so that's a family to marry into if ever. Uh -huh. But we love you both equally, Puma and Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> we have so beautiful Soul BXB. There you go. Sneaker bags, <laughs> which are absolutely mm. gorgeous to look at. Mm. Um, Shout out Soul BXB. No, these are amazing. These are amazing editorial articles in here. Mm -hmm. um, just. Beautiful aesthetic shoots as well, but some really informative stuff and great interviews as well. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna miss uh, Seoul this year. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely. It's not mm -hmm. like around this time as well. We miss you, Seoul, the experience. Yeah. Back next year. 
Cheers yeah. to. We love you. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, apart from that, um, I do have a few other recommendations. Um, I mean, there are so many other accessories that we could talk about. One being a shoe box. So I know that kind of sounds a bit weird, but you know those like really nice sort of acrylic boxes. Right, sneaker storage is generally sneaker storage. Expensive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna sidebar. I know someone who sells sneaker storage boxes. You wanna? So I know someone who actually sells these uh, sneaker storage boxes, and it's really very Are they good. Acrylic or? Yeah, they're they're not acrylic, but they're like plastic. Okay, cool. They're plastic, and they come in like two different colors. It's white and black. But it's it's really very cool, and for a good price. Um, and sneaker storage. But yeah, really hard. yeah, the name is G Box. You can find them on Instagram. It's yeah, like sneaker like storage issue. in general. Yeah, where you can store your sneakers and also that they're being protected and, mm -hmm. you know, stuff yeah. is not falling on them because they're expensive at the end of the day. Yeah, for sure. You want to look after them. Speaking of, like, protecting your sneakers, mm -hmm. you need to also keep them, like, crispy. Always use protection, guys. My parents are going to watch this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's great advice for what she's made. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we have to keep your shoes crispy clean, which mine you can see are pretty messed up right now. Um, well, you can get someone like sneaker cleaning products. Mm -hmm. So right. like Crep Protect, they have amazing rain and sweet protectors, which you can just like put it on your shoe, just yeah. get yeah. outside. There are few sneaker laundries mm -hmm. in Dubai. Mm -hmm. um, see, that's my kind of thing. Yeah. Don't buy me sneaker cleaning product, whoever's out there, but buy me sneaker laundry vouchers. <laughs> Don't buy, no don't buy you a sneaker cleaner pro cleaning product, just buy you a sneaker clean cleaner. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just buy someone who do it for me. Yeah, yeah perfect. So uh, there are a few places that do sneaker laundry over here. Uh, there's You Better Fly. Okay. Uh, the, the, the thing is called You Better Clean. Uh -huh. um, there's Champion Cleaners. They do they yeah. do the laundry for your sneakers. And there's, there's also Soul Cleanse. Okay. Yeah, Soul Cleanse are specialized specifically yes. in sneaker cleaning as well. Mm. So it's not like, you know, an additional service. So if you've got like a... Do we know how much that yeah, costs, roughly? Sure ranges. I think it depends on your kicks. Yeah, mm. and what needs to be done. Mm. But I think like if you're cautious about having something limited or the materials like really like getting ruined and stuff, um, you know, I think yeah. Shop. But whenever I get new sneakers, I just put on my rain and sweat protector. Or if I have something on my shoe, I just keep like a sneaker cleaning wipe. The Crep Protect sneaker cleaning wipes. They're like so handy. You can just like. And girls, it's a great hack as well. The little wipes come in like mini packets. Yeah. And you keep some in your handbag. So you're wearing like white kicks specifically and you go out. Sometimes if you leave a stain on your shoe for a long time, it sets in. Mm -hmm. But if you're able to wipe mm -hmm. it off straight away. Mm -hmm. Really, I have a story with this. Uh, I had my all white Jordan ones on. And uh, oh my god, I went for I went for groceries shopping, mm -hmm. and um, we ha there was this tomato soup. Stop. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I just <laughs> I just I kept it down. What? <laughs> the you dropped tomato soup. <laughs> Jordan? Sorry. Yes, on my all white Jordan ones. <laughs> <laughs> it was not open. It had a lid on, and when I kept it down, the entire stack fell off. <gasps> I was about to cry, and then I remembered, I have Prep Protect Rain and Stain on. So <laughs> it sounds like in a commercial, like I swear. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> well, lucky I've got this. <laughs> After she's done wiping it, thanks, Crap Protection. Well, Jess, what about you? Like, what would you what would you recommend? Uh, well, you know. What? Um, so I think sneaker jewelry is mm -hmm. uh, definitely one to go with. Uh, I know that the Jordan store in Dubai Mall does like lace locks and um, you know even just the little pins and stuff that you can put. Yeah. Um, but I also find that um, the price point is quite high. So I just want to manage your expectations on that. They have leather laces as well. They have leather laces. They have lace variations as yeah. well. Um, a good hack is that if you go on um, AliExpress. Uh, they also sell some really cute sneaker jewelry, like little like ju like like they look like almost like gems and like precious mm -hmm. stones. Mm -hmm. um, they have even like some cool like written fonts, like gothic fonts, like, saying like baby and stuff like that. That's like cute to put on your laces. You can customize it yourself. You can mm -hmm. customize it yourself. Um, and also for me, a hack that I if I feel like I'm gonna spend two hundred dirhams or two hundred fifty dirhams on sneaker jewelry from the Jordan store. I love you, Jordan, but I'm gonna go to the gold souk and I'm gonna make it in real, in silver at least, and plate it in gold so that I know that it's not, uh, it's gonna last. And I might even be able to get some more at that price point. Mm -hmm. hey, okay, speaking of bling, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Jordan 1, Melody Asani, would you ever swap out the. The watch? The watch? The rolly. For, yeah. Would you do that? But will you be looking at your shoe the entire time, you know? 
if you oh, like, I feel like if I was wait, are you rich, I'd do something ridiculous like that with the customization and swap it out for like a pair of rollies. Are you actually like talking about that? I would never do that. Um, another recommendation uh, would be socks. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all know that I love my socks. So socks. Um, yeah, no, I just think. Yeah, judge her because she was the one that bought me them for my present. <laughs> you can buy them in all sorts of colors, and I know. I just think it's very accessible. Did this like manifest? Manifest, yeah. Yeah. If you um, didn't want to, I mean, not saying that Melody Asani price points are too high or anything, but if it is for you, then you can always go on ASOS. Yeah, 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 you know, it, it, they've got some really good stuff. Stussy does for sure. Nike. Yeah. Nike does three pack and mm -hmm. eighty five durums for the high crew socks. So yeah. That's also a great staple. Yeah, definitely. Socks. Mm -hmm. So good sto uh, stocking stuffer. Stocking stuff. There you, you go. Can stuff my stocking. Yeah. We'll exchange. I'll stuff yours and you can stuff mine. That's not fair. <laughs> so I, I saw this really cool basketball bag. It's mm -hmm. literally like a basketball. But right. It's a bag. Right, okay, yeah, so I that's like. Those. I've seen yeah. them, like with a little, yeah, little right. basketball. And I've even seen people do them for plants as well, by the way. They oh, yeah. Into vases as True. Well. It's like a cute accessory to have like plants hanging out of. That is nice. Of, uh, brands that do it, right? Yeah. Are you able to get them in Dubai? I don't, I don't, maybe they have worldwide shipping? Yeah, I think they're online. That's mm. right. They're all online. Oh, oh, yeah. And speaking of interiors and coffee table books and stuff, um, I have a lot of like uh, items that that I can dress my room with mm. um, that are so like classy but part of that culture. Um, Ariel does these dope um, prints online. Uh, she's got an Instagram page and her website's linked to it. And she has some sick like they are like she has blankets, she has canvases. So depending on how you want to, she has prints too, uh, and how you want to kind of frame them and hook them up on your wall. But they, there's some dope stuff. On does she like take in? Um, orders or she anything like that of like particular. So no, actually they sell out. Like she drops them and they sell oh, out. Oh wow! Like, mm -hmm. I've been trying for like three, two months now mm -hmm. to try and catch the right print. Nice. Uh, and also, if you're looking to support a black woman uh, or black owned, black female owned startup, mm -hmm. um, that's one of them. So. Mm -hmm. Nice. If any of you guys actually do end up coming up with any other ideas for gifting and stuff, please by all means let us know. Um, yes. Drop us a pin. Exactly. Um, at Girl Time DX. Oh, you can just send it to us. Moving on to baby steps, which are which are our recommendations for um, women who are new to the sneaker game and are trying to build their collection um, without breaking the bank. These are affordable silhouettes that are great to kind of build your wardrobe or collection with. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead. The Skate High Vans, um, they're a classic silhouette, um, they're a very easy way into high tops if that's something that seems to be a little confronting to you to begin with. Um, I've got the Asics Gel BNDs, um, they come in a couple of colorways but even the all white is super sick um, but they're also super comfy and the sole, I love the sole on them, it just looks so airy and like Bubbly. My recommendation is Jordan OG women's. They come in like like different colorways, and it was like one of the first women's Jordans to come out. Yeah. It's light on the pocket as well, and you have a piece of history. Cool. So that kind of wraps up baby steps for this week. Yes. Uh, if you guys wear wear the shoes that we're talking about, tag us, and you can hit us at Girl Time TXP. Period. Cool. All right. So until next time, then peace out. But thank you. Yay. That was a lot of content. It was really a lot of content, actually. Yeah, I think